is Aspen from Aspen McKenna Makeup Artistry and today we are going to be talking about the fall 2010 trends. The major trends that we're seeing this year are plums and beautiful purples, the fantastic nude lips, and a winged out eye. So um, I want to show you some examples of some beautiful uh, plum makeup that I've seen and that I just adore. So. Here's some examples, and then we'll move on. Plums help to bring out the darker side of Dita Von Tess, a fun mineral shadow from MAC called Dark Magic. Natalie Portman does plums beautifully by NARS and CoverGirl. A fantastic trends page for fall with great plum lipsticks. Bryn with Strictly Makeup does a fantastic plum lip. Peter Somm's beautiful plums on the New York runway. Photography by Matt Spencer. This is my MUA work using plums. So those are the examples of just a good plum, plum look. It's fantastic. You can pull it off with almost anything. The next thing that people are doing are they're, they're combining trends. The biggest thing is to combine a nice sultry um, eye with a nude lip. I personally today am wearing the Meet the Plums from Bare Minerals. I have the lightest plum as a wash across my eye, the medium as the crease and the dark color as my liner. Uh, I also have the nude lip. I like to do a nude lip with just some con lip conditioner and some gloss. My favorite gloss is the MAC Lip Glass and this one is called Underage. Here are some examples of the way that they, they can mix that really fantastic plum purpley eye with a fantastic nude lip. A MAC look for fall with plums and a beautiful nude lip. Matt Spencer photographs my MUA work with plum eye and a nude lip. Makeup artist Sarah Lindsay does a plum eye and a nude lip. Clinique is doing lighter plums with nude lips this the fall. The next trend that we're going to talk about is a winged out eye. And what I mean by a winged out eye is when you come in really close you can see that the liner comes out just a little tiny bit. And the benefit of that is really, it just elongates the eye. It makes the eyelashes look so much longer. And so a lot of, a lot of designers are combining all three trends. So I wanted to show you some examples of that trend going from the simple all the way down to um, a very, very bold statement. So here's some examples of that. A winged liner that's stunning just in its simplicity. Nobody does a winged liner as well as classic Marilyn Monroe. Lisa Marie Presley as Marilyn Monroe by Kevin Aquan. A MAC Cosmetics plumbed eye and a perfectly winged liner. My MUA work, photographed by Matt Spencer, showing the simplicity of a nude lip. Backstage with Dior in Paris with a luscious plum lip. Scarlett Johansson for Dolce Gabbana with a stunning nude lip. Nude lips and winged liners on the Paris runways. A MAC Pro look with winged liner and a shiny nude lip. Nude lips and wing liner walks the New York runways. So those are the biggest trends that we're seeing across the runways across the world. We have the plums, the nude lip, and the winged out eye. I hope that this helps you to pick your next makeup purchase or to help you update your look for fall. And keep an eye out for my next video. Most likely it will be the Mac and Disney's Venomous Villains when that comes out. I'm really excited about that one. So until then, enjoy yourself, enjoy the plums, and make sure you wing out those eyes.